Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Guillermo Rigondeaux gets outclassed by Vasil Lomachenko and the real racists come out. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, and Vimo and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, I had to make a video real quick and address a real life situation. I was just perusing through my Instagram, minding my own business, watching a video with The Rock and Kevin Hart. And I got tagged in something. And it's a picture of somebody with some kind of black hood, black face, and a very stereotypical big lip, big nose, wide nose person, right? Black person, just like they did in, the, you know, the minstrel shows and whatnot. And it says, rigged fight. The Illuminati wanted the white man to win. And whoever this person is, and the name has been concealed because we don't give the haters any shine. And I don't want to them, you know what I mean, to get credit so you can follow them and you know what I mean laugh and stuff like that. So I protected the username because that's really irrelevant to what I have to say. And the caption says, Kid you not, this is actually an argument from the monkey, and there's an a monkey emoji, casuals. Hashtag Loma Rigo. Hashtag Balting, Casuals, Salty, and tagged in this is Dante's Boxing Nation and Boxing Ego. And it says, Dante's Boxing Nation, Boxing Ego, y'all on suicide, watch now, niggers, right? This is what I'm talking about. So when I did that live stream just yesterday, and we're talking about the racism in boxing, different stuff like that. Some people are like, oh, let's get back to boxing. I will never get back to boxing. I'm going to talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about as long as stuff like this exists. And this is proof. Like Tupac said, I know what I'm doing. I'm destroying them. I mean, like, you guys, you guys be the judge. You know what I mean? Stuff like this. Like, where is the basis? Immediately after the fight, Lomachenko rigged out, right? I did a live stream. You guys can check it out. I don't delete videos. And in that live stream, I specifically said, because there were a lot of people who were just praising Lomachenko for the win. Some people were taking credit away, saying, hey, this was rigged and stuff like that. But if you go back and watch that video, right? If you go back and watch that video, I specifically said, I'm not taking credit away from Lomachenko's victory to feed into some kind of conspiracy theory that is unproven. Um, I said about rigging out his hand. I said, I don't know. I don't know if something's wrong with his hand or not, but I'm not going to take away from Lomachenko's victory because a lesser fighter wouldn't have made rigging out quit. Obviously, he felt there was some level of danger if he were to continue, especially with an injury. And people like Lomachenko himself have fought with fractured hands. People have fought with broken jaws. And I even referenced Muhammad Ali. True fact, he finished the fight with a broken jaw. And people have had severe dislocated shoulders and all kinds of stuff and fought through it. So in in contrary to whatever this this Instagram post I'm tagged in, I get lumped in. Dante's Boxing Nation gets lumped in. To my knowledge, he hasn't said any kind of uh, the fight was rigged and anything else like that. And this is this is what I'm talking about that's that's how you know there's real life racist like don't get it twisted there probably are people who are saying the fight is rigged but that's what a true racist does stereotype group people together lump everyone together i never said that i never said one thing about the fight being rigged and it was a conspiracy or illuminati so once again in closing i'm gonna keep this fairly short don't tell me shit about how to run my channel don't tell me what to talk about don't tell me that there's no racism and you're race baiting yeah you're pulling the, you're just pulling the race car you monkeys you know what i'm saying because this is the type of filth that's out there for no reason and i just had to say my piece 
you guys let me know what you guys think but it, it's it's making it, it makes it hard and again i feel bad for lomachenko and i feel bad for certain fighters because their fan base some of them are toxic some of their fan base are toxic and, and this is gonna be anything this could be any fighter but i seen i see an influx with certain fighters when they win and just because like i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky there are a lot of dominant african-american or mexican fighters in the sport of boxing am i saying that is the only two races that succeed in boxing absolutely not because that i mean obviously that would be dumb some of my favorite fighters are from other places in the world like i have some uk fighters that i really fuck with uh argentina etc but i'm just saying per division except for in, in maybe in some of the real real small divisions you see usually talented african-american fighters and talented mexican fighters in or around those divisions if you were to look like go tell me three divisions from let's say like one 126 to 135 140 where there's no dominant or top level top five african-american fighters or mexican fighters you know what i'm saying you look at you look at uh 126 you got leo santa cruz you got abner Mates, you got a ton of guys, you know what I mean? Salido was there, Mickey Roman, you know what I'm saying? Francisco Vart. You had a, top, a ton of top level fighters. So th there are certain races that just in general in boxing have been pretty dominant. So they don't have to, it's not like once in a blue moon, like Pacquiao, for example. Pacquiao from the Philippines is by far the most popular and most accomplished Filipino fighter. So sometimes you see... I'm just showing you how the game works. Sometimes you see racism because there's less dominant fighters from that region. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happens that Lomachenko is really good. He's extremely good. So the racists cling to that. So like, yeah, we got one. Fuck these monkeys. You know what I'm saying? And you see erratic behavior like this. You know what I mean? And you see it's, it's almost like... If you were rooting for Lomachenko and you're a diehard Lomachenko fan, you won. Two two-time gold medalists. Lomachenko outclassed his person and made him quit. I mean, it is what it is. So if you were rooting for him, your your prediction was right. But yet and still, you still see the radical. And I'm not, I know every Lomachenko fan is not like this, but you see the radical fans and they're, they're not even winning grace graciously. You know what I'm saying? Like a little shit talking is fine. Like, oh, I told you Rigan I was gonna get beat, his ass beat or something like that. that's fine. But when you start bringing race and and demean a whole race, that's different. When you start calling people like racial slurs, that's different. You know what I mean? So as far as my channel and how it will be run and ran, and me talking about different concepts like double standards and justices, like I did on live stream, and all the people, I'm just showing you guys just one one random example that just happened today of what i'm talking about that racism truly exists and again majority of the people who say yeah man let's get back to boxing dude they're they're part of the problem not saying they're racist but they're either being naive or or maybe sometimes in some cases they support it you know what I'm saying? But stuff like this is uncalled for. And I just wanted you guys to see an example of an established, successful channel holder and the type of uh, feedback that comes in. Again, I never said anything about the fight was rigged. And I damn sure didn't say shit about Illuminati or use excuses of Rigadal's hand. But you guys be the judge. New media style. I always empower you. Go look at the tapes. Go look at the live stream. You even see my face during the live stream. And like I said, I never once said anything about Illuminati, the fight was rigged, or anything like that. Let me know what you guys think, new media. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe to next video's Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.